Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be talking about battery chargers. Specifically, what's a good battery charger for these large lithium batteries? Uh, I recently purchased this Expert Power lithium iron phosphate battery and it's 100 amp hour. It's really, really great and it's very similar to other batteries by say Renogy or everyone's favorite, Battleborn. And so the advice I'm going to give you in this video will really cover any kind of large 12 volt lithium battery. Uh, I specifically chose the Expert Power one because A, it was a really good price and Will Prouse did a video on it and was very impressed by the build quality and the output capacity. The only thing that he found that he wasn't super happy with is the very first batch of these had a defective low temperature cutoff. Now, I went ahead and ordered it knowing that it had that problem, and I got a really good deal on Amazon. There was a coupon, and then actually once I received it, I reached out to the seller and they gave me an additional $50 credit. So all in, I was only at about $660, which I consider a really great deal for 100 amp hours or 1,280 watt hours of lithium iron phosphate battery storage. Now when I got my battery, I just hooked it up to the existing charger I already owned, which is this Noco Genius G1100. Uh, now this is a nice little charger I had. Uh, it supports both lead acid and lithium chemistries, and I was using it before for my Optima uh, AGM battery and it worked fairly well on that application. It was slow, but I didn't quite appreciate how slow it was until I tried hooking it up to this much larger battery. Um, this thing only puts out one amp. So if I have a 100 amp hour battery and this thing can only charge at one amp, that means it's going to take 100 hours to charge my brand new battery, which is unacceptable. So I went to Amazon and I typed in 12 volt lithium battery charger thinking there'd be lots and lots of options. And I was really disappointed. The results I found were either things that were very, very similar to what I had and really weren't up to the task. They would maybe put out one amp, maybe two or three, uh, but I need something that put out a lot more power. And so I spent a bunch of time in Amazon searching around and even Googling and I just wasn't finding the answer I needed. So sort of out of desperation, I ended up back on the Battleborn site and they actually have a section where they sell chargers and I started looking at the options and it took a little while to sort it out because some of them were designed for 24 or 48 volt systems and batteries. Some of them were DC to DC. Um, some of these things were really expensive or really big. Um, quite a few of these look like PC power supplies and clearly are not uh, water resistant. And so after looking through the options, really this top left one is the only one that seemed like it made any sense to me and seemed like familiar to what I already had. And so this is a Victron Blue Smart charger. And this one's interesting. It's designed for a 12 volt battery and it's IP65 rated, which is really great. So that means it's quite waterproof. And this outputs 15 amps of power so it's 15 times more powerful than my existing charger. Now looking at the Victron site, there really wasn't a lot of great information. It was a little confusing. I was able to find a few photos and dig through the manual. And I ended up buying this kind of sight unseen because I was really unsure if this was the right choice. So this is what the charger looks like in real life. It's quite a bit bigger than I thought it would be. Um, and I'll show it compared to my old charger in a moment. Uh, and the top of this is really clean. I really like the way Victron stuff looks. Uh, there is this series of lights here that shows you what mode it's in in terms of charging status. And then it tells you what mode it's in in terms of the battery chemistry and the IP65 rating at the top. And the case overall is made out of really rugged plastic. Uh, the US model has a two prong heavy duty plug on it. And there's little rubber feet on the bottom that let it not slide around on a surface. And yeah, overall the construction is pretty amazing on all of their products. I'm very, very impressed. And on the output side of things, you can see it's got a really heavy duty cable with their waterproof connectors. And so this is rated at 12 volts, 15 amps, which should be about 180 watts of power. 
and the IP65 rating is really nice. So this thing is suitable for being mounted outside if need be and can handle a steady stream of water like from a hose. So putting these things side by side, you can see the difference here. The Victron is quite a bit larger uh, and a lot heavier. Um, but, you know, again, you're getting 15 times the charging power and it's much more waterproof and heavy duty overall. So I uh, just thought that would be helpful. I think a lot of people probably have something similar to the NOCO Genius. So you can see what you're getting yourself into. And yeah, I mean, I think the overall fit and finish on this product is really, really good. And I've never had a single problem using it for the last few months. It's just rock solid. In terms of accessories in the box, it comes with a one foot cable with ring terminals, as well as a short set of alligator clips. Both of them have the same waterproof connector on the other side. I actually went ahead and bought another connector from Victron that's separate. And that is a fused version of the ring terminals. And I just wanted to have the extra safety of having an inline automotive fuse on that. So that's basically what you get in the box. And they actually sell quite a bit of other accessories that are compatible. And the manual is short and sweet and really easy to use. And uh, one interesting thing with this product is it can be used as a battery charger and also used as a power supply. So instead of it going through its charging cycle, it'll just provide steady power. Now, all of the connectors use these really nice rubber covers on them. And when they snap together, it's really satisfying and you can tell it's going to be a super waterproof connection. So my standard setup on the battery is I have a pair of these NOCO ring terminals and on the other end is a female 12 volt connector. And I like to leave this on the battery so that I can quickly plug in uh, any 12 volt accessory, a meter, or even my Yeti uh, 12 volt charging cable so I can juice up the Yeti. So uh, what I need to do is I need to add these additional ring terminals to the battery so that I can hook the charger up. And the posts on this battery are really quite nice and they feel really, really sturdy. And so I'm just gonna loosen them here and add these additional ring terminals. So now I've got three things connected and you can see I've got no problem fitting all three of those on here. Um, these are not the heaviest duty connectors in the world, but uh, everything seems to work really nicely. Once everything's all connected to the battery, it looks like this, and we are ready to plug it in. So the waterproof connectors are really, really nice. You just take the caps off, you slide them together, and there's this really nice locking mechanism on the top. And so that is super solid. No water is ever gonna get in there. And then you just press the button to release. So we'll just plug this in, and there you go. So the nice thing about this is it's really quiet. Uh, it doesn't have a fan on it. So even though it's putting out 15 amps, it is dead quiet. And the cool thing is this also has Bluetooth. So I installed the Victron Connect app and you can use the app to see the current voltage and the amount of current going into the battery. And it also has this chart that shows you where it is in the cycle. However, I was excited about it, but really it's just showing you a diagram. So it's not really any different than the lights on the front. And then there is a history graph, which I think is really useful. It tells you how long you charged it for, what the voltage was, uh, how many cycles are on the battery. So I would say the most useful part of this whole thing is the history tab. The other things you can pretty much just see from the status lights on the front of the unit. Um, there are advanced settings that you can dig into, and this is where you can choose whether it's a charger or power supply mode. You can choose your battery chemistry, and you can also choose to have a lower output if you want to charge your batteries at a lower C rate. So lots of really cool things that you can configure in the app. And uh, yeah, overall, it's a really nice tool to have. Uh, it's much better than having to configure things with dip switches or something like that. So that is the app. So really great feature. 
So overall, this thing has worked great. Um, it charges my battery from, if it's completely dead, in six to seven hours, uh, which makes sense. So it's 15 amps, it's a 100 amp battery, and that's about six and three quarters. Uh, so works like a champ, dead quiet, really safe, waterproof, and really, what else can you ask for in a battery charger? And I actually use this as part of my larger system where I'm using the Yeti 12 volt lithium car chargers as a way to trickle charge my Yeti from this external battery. So I'll do a follow up video on that exact technique. I know you all have been asking about it, but I wanted to cover this first. And yeah, so generally I can use the charger plugged into my Yeti to charge the battery if I happen to be plugged into a lot of solar or I have my generator. And then when I am totally off grid, I can use the car chargers to goose up my Yeti. So that's the whole thing. Look forward to that video. I want to thank everyone for watching and I really appreciate it. If you have any thoughts, please leave a comment. Please consider subscribing and giving this a thumbs up and I'll be doing a lot more videos soon. So thanks for watching.